deities. Mm -hmm. The Osiris is the Pharaoh in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Toft, right here, that's the biblical Enoch. That's the Enoch figure right there. Mm -hmm. That's the Helix Nebula right there. Because they say the eye of God is supposed to be over Aquarius. Mm -mm. He's looking over Aquarius or looking, Aquarius goes down North Pacific, South Pacific, right there, International Dateline. You see that? The Helix Nebula is right there. Just like on the chart, Kahaparu Ark. Or Anket Kahaparu. The all seeing eyes right there, you see? It's walking you into, this is a world map on the hieroglyphs. Mm -hmm. In the 19th dynasty of Egypt, this is how Egyptian scenes. A minty. You see, he comes across the international date line on a boat. And now it's some type of hill or pyramid right here that takes them up. They found another man right here when they cross the date line. You see that? This is a register. <laughs> How it all began from the gods of Ernest in the second period. This is the first period. Net Ra. Mm -hmm. Ernest is the second period. At the top is a register and it's walking you in to how they went all the way around the world, all the way down that register and comes right back in three sets. Seems like it's three or four periods that it did this. That's the same thing I see. These seals right here. The seven seals. The first seal, each seal was like a thousand years when it was opened up. And there was an off changer. The Hebrews wrote the same thing. They seen it a little different. They tried to explain the same thing. The different periods with the seven seals that were opened by the priest. This is really taught in Ethiopia by the Ammon priest. The Ammonians were a joint colony of Egyptians and Ethiopians called Ammonians. They believed in Ammon Ra, the God of Egypt, the God of the sun, who we invoke in Jesus Christ's name, amen. You know, Egyptian myth, the pre Mivel deity worshiped at the best or at Thebes. The personification of air or breath represented either as a ram or a goose, later identified with Amon Ra. Mm. So his land was called Amenti. Mm. You see the top register? This is the period that preceded the first register, I mean the, the second register. You see that ram deity? There you go right there, the Amon Ra right there, with the head of a ram. Mm. Coming into a minty. See that? That is, I believe, from this Egyptian world map on the hieroglyphs. He's showing you T-O-T who it can. Mm. The plans of that city, it says in the Britannica, were begun about 400 B.C. Mm -mm. Let's read the rest of it. T-O-T who it can. Its formal planning as a metropolis was begun 400 B.C. Around that time, its formal planning as a metropolis. However, dates to about the beginning of the Christian era. The origin and language of the Teotihuacanos is yet unknown. They don't know who it was. That's what the Britannica said in Great Britain. 
So, mm. But I'm explaining it to you in the nigga Speedy and the Granica. Mm. The last kings mm -mm, of Egypt, Nectanambo and his people. Because the Persians had took over Egypt through marriage to one of the daughters, marrying to the kings of Persia. And then the Persians became masters over Ethiopia and India. So, mm, 